Think about this, everyone. The mm -hmm. very first in the city of Houston. That's amazing. These tiny homes, right? When you are the owner, you dictate and control the rules of the property. All right, guys, I'd like to welcome you back to another episode of Building Wealth While Black. This is another great, uh, great episode, man. I just can't wait to tell you about this gentleman. Uh, my, right, my man right here to my left, Andre, man. Andre, just introduce yourself. Tell them about what you do. Yes. Yeah. So, Raymond, super excited to be here today. Thank you so much for the opportunity to get in front of the millions of people who's watching and listening. You have a strong following. And I love what you're doing for the community. So Appreciate thank you. it, man. Appreciate it. So my name is Andre Barad with Yes to Real Estate. I am married. Uh, my lovely wife, Joanne Barad, one half of Yes to Real Estate. Joe, thank you so much for what you do to the business and for the business. And I love you. And my son, Chase. So Chase is six. Mm -hmm. He's been coming up in the business. He's strong. He's a strong Yes to Real Estate follower. <laughs> <laughs> So he's six. My daughter is two. My daughter reminds me a lot of my wife. Oh. She reserved. She laid back, but she watching everything. All right. Mm. And then I wouldn't be the Andre I am today without my team. Yeah. Right? Yep. So team, let me tell you this for the millions of people watching. Your team will make or break you, will elevate you or decline your progress. Mm -hmm. So my team, Voss and Jenny, my marketing team, thank you guys for what you do for the brand. And then we have Michael, our analytics guy. He's the one who shoot the content, the videos, and come up with the creative ideas when it comes time to produce marketing. And then we have Diamond. She's my transaction coordinator. But guess what? She's also a GC for mm. new construction. Man. One year in the game, and she's doing new construction. So Diamond, and we have Ashley. She's one half of Russ Green Properties, but also she's one half of Yes to Real Estate. And what's crucial about this, everyone, is that partnership is the key for your success. You will not go far until you have partnership. That's so that's so me. That's the team. That's what makes up the Yes to Real Estate brand. Oh, that's, that's awesome. I'm, let, let, me, let me give you guys a little background on how I <coughs> met Andre. Yeah. Let, let, me, the, let, me, let the people know. <laughs> let me let you guys know the story <laughs> behind this because let me tell you how I met Andre. Well, as you know... I actually started this Building Wealth While Black YouTube channel slash podcast. Uh, one of my first guests I had on there was was uh, uh, Donovan. Donovan. Yeah. I don't know why I, my mind slipped. Donovan. Yeah. And I'm telling you guys, and, and Andre talks about this, and I and everything I read talks about it. If you want to learn and get into anything, you want to try to get yourself around people that are doing the things that you want to do. Yeah. Uh, my background is cybersecurity. Me and my wife have event business, so we do event decor, rentals, and I do videography, photography a little bit on the side. And so that's kind of my background, but I always wanted to get in real estate. Yeah. I'm not sure I ever told Andre this. I did have my real estate license at one time, and I did let it expire. Yeah. So don't, don't <laughs> shoot me about that. But that was, that's been many years ago. But I've always been interested in real estate, and everybody know a key element of building uh, wealth is everyone always says it's real estate. Yeah. It's to have you know, something to pass down, <clears throat> something that's always going to usually go up in value, yeah. and so something that's going to be an asset. Yeah. And so, long story, I don't want to go too long, but yeah. uh, but I met Donovan, and, and I, was, I was creeping on this page, and I was seeing <laughs> Donovan steady talking about Andre. And yeah. Every time I look and I'm scrolling on social media, I'm seeing Andre, yes, the real estate. Yeah. Andre, yes, the real estate. <laughs> and this man going on and on. And then I found out about his uh, field trip. Yeah. And I reached out to, out to Andre and I was like, man, I want to be a part of it. Uh, I paid and the field trip was awesome. I know yeah. you said you done done that. Uh, I think this was the third year. How many years have yeah. you been doing this? So it started off, we was doing like every three months. And we had five people show up, 10 people, then 20. Then the one before this, we had 250 people. So now we do it every year because it's a weekly, a, a weekend event. Mm -hmm. And it went from just one day to like a three-day event now. 
Right. And I, I can personally say I went there. I was there all three days. Yeah. The first day was awesome. We were actually on site. Yeah. This guy, this gentleman right here, let us talk to the builder. Let us ask all the questions you want to ask. Walk through the property. Just free game information. And yeah. like, like you said, it, it's hard to find <laughs> good information and people willing to share the information with you. Yeah. And then the next day we had a, uh, we had a, span, uh, a panel yeah. of people speaking. One of them was, was, uh, um, Donovan, Donovan. Right. I don't. I keep on forgetting yeah. Donovan. Donovan, which he was on the panel as well, yeah. and and a lot of great people on the panel, and giving out good information from being in development, yeah. Airbnb, short term, long term, just a whole bunch <clears> of good <throat> people out there. A lot of good vendors that was out there, yeah. and I really enjoyed myself. And then you had the bowling event, then the yeah. next day church and the brunch. I will tell you, this guy <laughs> gave yeah. away a lot. I know. The, the the cost of the ticket wasn't even that much, so I yeah. know he did it out of the kind of his heart. So, yeah. I, and my my goal is to be an information plug. I yeah. want to make sure I share share good people, great people that's doing great things in the community, that's helping, reaching out. And so, I, that's a little background on how, on how I met Andre, yeah. and we got this going. So, I'm glad that you're here today. So, yeah. I just want to, you know, first I want to like we went into that. So, one of the things that you was talking about um, on Clubhouse. Yeah. Uh, was your tiny home project yes. here in Houston. Maybe you can give our listeners a little background yeah. on the tiny house um, project that you guys are working on. No, no, absolutely. So here's the great thing about having a great team, everyone, is that when you have a great team, you as being the leader will not think of everything, right? Mm -hmm. Everything is not going to come from you. A lot of stuff is going to come from your team being creative, thinking outside the box, and having an opportunity to use their creative juices to push the agenda, the brand forward. So the Texas tiny home came from my my, my brother Garland Harris, right? He's right. A, a big time architect here in Houston. And just because he's he's gonna be on the podcast soon here, so he, yeah. he committed to an interview with us. So you gonna get even more information from Garland one yeah. day. So Garland looked at our lot that we have fifteen thousand square feet, and he said, "Hey man, the the uh, the city has been really focused on creating." A, a neighborhood feel of these homes and, and trying to make affordable homes. Mm -hmm. And I think your lot would be a great opportunity for the city to have its first tiny home division. Think about this, everyone. Mm -hmm. The very first in the city of Houston. That's amazing. These tiny homes, right? So when he get, came to me with the idea, I said, man, let's do it. You the leader, <laughs> let's do it. And so now the name of it is the Yes to Real Estate Texas tiny homes. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Man. You got that one in there. Yeah. <laughs> yes, the real estate Texas tiny home. That's Shout amazing. out to Garland for the concept. Yeah, I, I seen Garland work. I talked to him. Like I said, <laughs> yeah. I'm telling you, people, I'm telling you, the key thing is if you want to learn something, get in contact, move around these yeah. people. I met Garland, Garland Harris online. Talking to him, man, he's showing me his architectural plans, how he does a lot of projects for, for Yes to Real Estate and other builders. And, and it just, it just, it just like you said, having a great team of people around you can put you in the right connection and put you in the right places. So if you entrepreneurship, real estate, always try to build a team of people. Yeah. Always try to keep people around you that are going to build you up and, like you said, have great ideas yeah. because you are not going to think of everything. I'm sorry. I ran out of ideas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So now also, then you guys team up on a um, coaching program. Yeah. So I'm going to go a little bit into that. But before we go into that, I want to tell you about the tiny homes a little bit more. Oh, yeah. Okay. So it's a, it's a total of nine homes. So six of them are two bedrooms, two and a half bath, two story, 960 square feet. Mm. And then we have three that are two bedroom, one and a half bath, 960 square feet. So it's going to be a gated HOA community, mm -hmm. right? So you have to come in and then um, uh, it's going to be a courtyard. So you park your vehicle, everybody park their vehicle on the right side, inside the gate. And then as you walk in, it's going to be like a courtyard filled, trees, benches, place to sit and to entertain. We are really pushing towards making this a place to where people can come, come outside, yeah. chill. Like a real and, community. Like a real community. community vibe. Yeah, right? that's good. And, and the great thing about this is that it is going to be HOA. But here's the thing. When you're the owner, when you are the owner, right. let me say that again, 
when you are the owner, you dictate and control the rules of the property. So with us being the owners, we can dictate and, and control the rules of the HOA. Mm -hmm. And with me being an investor, <laughs> right? Right. All the HOA rules is going to be tailored towards investors. So, so short term rent rentals are going to be welcome. Right. Right. Uh, regular rentals are going to be welcome. You can buy two and rent out the two if you want. So it's going to be catered to our investors for this HOA yes to real estate. Uh, tiny Texas homes. tiny homes, right? Because I remember I was on a, I was on the the clubhouse when you was talking about yeah. that, and that's another thing about having the community. I like because you said you're going to keep it in the community. Yeah. You're going to try to first reach out to the people in the community of yes to real estate people, people that's in, in our circle, in your circle, to like uh, lawn service, whatever services, <laughs> whatever people that you need, mm -hmm. reaching out within the community, and that's awesome. Because yeah. a lot of times. It, it, it's hard to when you like you said when you own it you can you can control a lot more than when you don't and just like like you said for the Airbnb short term stuff that's that's great because <laughs> yep. if you might not have the money to get in to buy a four hundred thousand dollar home or, or duplex or whatever to Airbnb out but you might can get into a tiny home at, at a reasonable price and be able to use that as your first investment yeah. property so no. it gives people a lot yeah. of uh, yeah. Different opportunities. Yeah, that, that's a great point because the tiny homes are going to be sold for two hundred fifty thousand, right? And shout out to Nazar, uh, he's part of the Yes to Real Estate Houston Investment Club, and he he it was his idea to say, hey, how can I get in on bidding on these jobs? And when he said that, I'm like, you know what? <laughs> You're right. Anybody within our community should have first dibs on bidding on these jobs. So if you went in the Yes to Real Estate and the Houston Investor Club, then you have first dibs on bidding for plumbing, electrical, HVAC, sheetrock, insulation, roofing, that we are going within the circle to mm -hmm. give first dibs and opportunities to build, to bid on these nine Texas tiny homes. That's, that's so that awesome. was a great point that we brought yeah, up. That, that's out. awesome. Because like you said, man, it's giving everybody a chance to get in on some of this stuff. And that's what that's the thing I like about about, about you when I met you. Yeah. It's about giving people a chance. I don't want to glaze over your greatness because I think you said this year you guys are at the point of selling almost 40, uh, 40 million in transactions yeah. through Yes to Real Estate. And that, that's awesome, man. Yeah. For There's a lot of real estate companies out here and I keep hearing your, your name coming up. And, that's, and in Houston, I'm telling yeah. you, that's a big thing. That's a, that's a very big thing, yeah. and before for the fact that you guys are on track, uh, unless you on track or already made that, that's awesome. And then yeah. this guy, this guy is not only selling real estate, but you are also a developer. So you know you actually y'all you have a division, right? To yeah. build it from the ground up. Yep. Yeah. So how do you get into developing? Like when when do you pivot? You just kind of like. No, that's a great question. So. Yeah, so the team and I is on pace to do $40 million in transaction this year. We did $24.7 million last year. So our goal is always to double and get better. But the only way to do that is for you. Yeah, I'm talking to you. <laughs> to allow us to help you buy, sell, invest, and build. Right. We call it the 4012 movement. So with your help, yes, the real estate would reach the goal. So, um, <clears throat> yes, we are builders and developers as well. And here's the thing. We just started last year. We started flipping last year and developing last year. And the reason why we start new construction is I realized at the end of the day, right. I can help a client buy and sell a home, but they can fire me at any time. That's true. Right? So I can put in a lot of work, a lot of time and effort. And for any reason, they can say, Dre, we don't need your services anymore. And just like that, I'm making no money. Mm -hmm. So I realized, I'm like, what can I do to control what comes in and out, right, to help me feed my family? And that's building. That if I build the product from the ground up and I'm the owner, no one can take it from me, right? So therefore, I'm guaranteed to sell this product and, and get a return on my investment, right? And I control that, right. not anyone else. Okay. That was the reason why we got into new construction. But as far as flipping... We all know with new construction, it takes around a year. Right. Eight months to a year in permitting, right? 
and then another three to four months to build a product. So you're looking at a whole year. Before you see your money. Exactly. <laughs> with new construction. But with, with uh, flips, you can buy a product today, put a month and a half into it, maybe another 15 to 20 days on the market, another 30 days close. You're looking at about three months mm -hmm. to flip your money. So it's quicker, which is why we incorporated flipping. But as far as new construction, it's more of a legacy because I, I can name a street after me. Man, awesome. I can name a street after my son, Man, right? I didn't even know that. Yeah, that's, that's the real estate avenue. Man, that's yeah, awesome. yeah. <laughs> so, See, that, I'm glad, that's one thing, like I say, people, what's one thing I like about talking to people? Because I like the way how you broke down flipping compared to new construction. Yeah. Because a lot of people, and which I understand, a lot of people say new construction is great because I can I can control everything's going there. I, I yep. know about any problems that might come up. Yeah. But. I like the it, like how you quick to say how you broke down that flipping still is a quick a faster return on your investment. Yeah. So a lot of people might <laughs> you know move away from flipping, but the fact that if you if it's done properly, you can see your return in three months compared to anybody <laughs> knows in Houston. Yeah. If it's you in the in the in the county, I mean in the in the city, yeah. permanent is going to take a long it, time. It, so it, it's you grab a snicker, it's going to be a while. <laughs> it's a good chance <laughs> that you probably going to see your return on your investment yeah. to like you said a year. Yeah. So that's good that's real good information that you broke it down, kinda of explained that, you know, flipping three to four months you could have your payday. Yeah. So that's a good that your your business kinda of incorporate a little bit of both so y'all can, you know, always keep the funds flowing. That's always. that's great. That's great. Yeah. But like I said, man, this 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 guy Andre has gave a lot of good information yeah. and and when I when I did the uh the three day field trip, man yes. I I was very amazed and I was very pleased with the the amount of effort your your team put into that. that yeah. I, like he said, having a great team Man. is everything, <clears throat> and you have a great team because that was well organized. For you said that that uh, you started off up on a tree, on a shade tree, shade tree. But this time around, I know when I was there, it was very well put together, and yeah. and everyone was so willing to share, share information, and that's that's what I really like. So. Yeah. See, man, you create your environment, right? With me being the leader, I have a certain way that I want the team to operate. Right. I cannot expect the team to operate a certain way if I'm not doing it. Mm -hmm. And my team knows that I'm not going to ask them anything or ask them to do anything if I'm not willing to do it first or if I have not done it. Right. Right. At one point in time, I was doing everything. I was showing the homes, um, listing homes. Um, Marketing and branding, which I wasn't good at, but I did do it, mm -hmm. right? And so now we have a whole division, a whole team that does everything. And all I do now, Raymond, this is what I do every single day. I go meet up with people, build rapport, talk with them. We outside sweating together, right? Because <laughs> uh, Houston is 105 degrees today. Exactly. And man. I just pour into people every single day. And guess what? My team is behind handling and doing everything. That's awesome. Delegation is crucial for your success. Exactly. I want to go into that because like like I always say, I feel like um, the reason why, like I said, I started this is, is to share the information. I feel like one of the key ways to build wealth is to have multiple screens of income. Yes. And so entrepreneurship, <laughs> I, I'm really real big on that. And I like the point that you bring up is building a team. Yes. And I run across more and more <laughs> entrepreneurs and I want to share this to everybody. I keep running across the same information. So make sure you guys like take notes of building, get the right team yeah. around you. Because a lot of times people you get so trapped up of trying to do everything yourself. Mm -hmm. And you might have you might be have a great business, but your business is never gonna explode yeah. until you get a great team around you. And I I can see the explosion, yes, the real yeah. estate, because like I said, this dude's steady putting out a lot of content out on social media yeah. and, and and you guys are getting the numbers to go with it. Yeah. Um, just like uh, when we was there, I, we asked some hard questions. We like we asked uh, the builders, which wasn't uh, yes, the real estate. Um, what's the name of the builder there? Uh, 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 S and J S and J construction. construction. And <laughs> we like, so why did you pick Andre to sell you list your properties? He said because his rapport. He's always there to help. And he gets the job done. He have yeah. a great team that gets the job done. And I've seen him, he speak about it personally that, hey, if I need something, Andre gonna drop the ball. He's yeah. gonna drop what he's doing. He's gonna get his team on the line. Boom, boom, boom. I, I get the comps, I get everything I need. If I wanna do this and that, he's, he's, his, his team 
Not just this guy, his team is is the one. So yep. I'm telling you guys out there who's listening, if you're trying to build something, <clears throat> try to get you a good team around you. Try yep. to find some good individuals that, that have like-minded, who understand the goal and can, you know, build, everyone can win. Everybody yep. can eat if you have a good team around yep. you. Yeah. And then making sure that when you, when you have a great team, shout out to Diamond, shout out to Ash and Michael, make sure they eat very well, right? right. I, for example, I told Diamond, I said, Diamond, you're doing an amazing job, right? So she get paid a set price. I said, I can pay you more, but I wouldn't be doing you any justice. I said, how about I give you the intellectual property mm. and you make money on your intellectual property. And therefore, if you no longer work with me, guess what, Diamond? You can take what you have and go anywhere and make money. Right. I said, that's better than money. So that's when we... I taught her how to do new construction, how to do flips, right? So now she knows the whole process. She has an intellectual property, and that's one way I give back to my team is to make sure that I give them so much information and pour out to them Same. so that, that um, they can leave me and fire me if they want. <laughs> right. Like I said, you, like you said, teach a man to fish. Yeah. If you teach someone how to fish... They can, they can always support themselves. Yeah. That's, that's awesome. So going into the teaching, uh, the coaching, I think we, we yeah, yeah. last thing we want to make sure we yeah. mention about your coaching program. Yeah. I know it might already be over with for right now. Is no, no, no. Out? It's still available. It's still available. Okay. Yeah. It's still available. So you guys listen up. So shout out to um, Garland Harris, Chris Ford, and myself. We came together as partners. So Chris is a developer. Chris Ford is a developer. He's amazing at what he's done. Garland's the architect. Of course, he's amazing. And then myself as your top agent realtors of the year here in Houston. <laughs> right. But also a developer. We all came together to say, hey, you know what? We have this information. We have the intellectual property. People are always asking us. They want to learn and grow. Mm -hmm. So we started this coaching program on, for Bill Street in Acres Home. And what it is is that we're going to walk you through the whole process from beginning, which is a soft cost, all the way to the end of the project on how to build new construction. That means you'll get the plumbing, the electrical, you'll get all these people information, right? The know-how, the price that we pay, right? How much it's costing us to build this product. Mm -hmm. You get to walk it, take notes, and hands-on training for only $10,000. That's right. This is a $100,000 gig. $100,000 worth of information mm -hmm. that we only charge you for 10000 Because you can learn this, Raymond, they can learn this, mm -hmm. have the intellectual property, fire us, and go out and build their own. Because most people make the mistake, Raymond, of trying to figure it out on their own. Exactly. Saying, I don't want to pay that much. I'm going to figure <laughs> it out on my, on my own. And guess what they do? Instead of paying 10000 they end up paying fifty because of mistakes, a, a contract that's taken advantage of them. Right. So. And I, I agree with that. I'm a, I'm a, and what I'm going to say is what I feel. And I'm going to tell anybody, my BWWB family is that, yes. is that this, put your money, invest in yourself and invest in the right way. And, and, and I always say, check what you're investing in. Because mm. like, I like this program. I'm tell you why. Because it's hands on. It's hands not on. somebody out there who, who created a course and threw it up on the internet and you just watch, uh, you know, hours of some video. They are actually, you got, I mean, where, you, where are you going to find this? Yeah. I mean, I'm being honest. Where are you going to find an uh, architect, a realtor, developer, and who's all going to walk you through and show you from start to finish how they build a project, how they look at the plans, how they replot, plot, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. Every little step and and hold your hand through it. <clears throat> That's why it's worth it because yeah. I, I, I'm not going to recommend any old thing. And I don't, I'm not a real big fan of just online courses because I feel like I want to be able to have have access to the person, that, you know, that just give me the information. Yeah. And with this, you guys will have access to that person. Yeah. All three of you guys. All three of us. And that's and that's amazing because, you know, you 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 are you are paying for time. Yeah. And I hear a lot of a lot of uh, and this is for me just for the last few years talking with Donovan and other yeah. uh, developers. People make mistakes that cost them thousands, thousand dollars, way more than ten thousand dollars. And so 
this this information is, is is amazing for you guys to put this together and do it for only only ten grand because yeah. I, I'm like, man, that the amount of knowledge and and I heard because I I heard actually like I said I, I'm having uh, the architect Garland, Garland. <clears throat> on, on a on a podcast coming up YouTube channel podcast you know what I'm talking about y'all yeah. another episode coming up and he was he was telling me you know. Um, uh, about the project, and, yeah. and I know he's going to go in more more detail from yeah. the architectural side. Yeah. But it's a it's a lot of information that he's that that all three of you guys are giving, yeah. uh, giving and helping everybody <laughs> be able to do these same things on their own. So yeah, that's amazing. I, you know, I tell people this: people who pay pay attention. So many people try to get the information and knowledge for free, and mm -hmm. don't want to pay. Think about this. Garland, Chris, and myself have spent countless hours and time of getting this information, going through the trials and tribulations of bumping our heads and learning this. And now we have formulated a class uh, of school for this, and, and we're giving you the game to where you're mm -hmm. not making any mistakes. So remember, people who pay, pay attention. Go pay for it. Get the class. All right, man. I think that's enough. I don't want to give you guys too much game because I want to make sure I get I get Andre back on a, on another episode yeah. or maybe another Zoom meeting. So I want to make sure that uh, that you guys tune back in. If you have any questions, please make sure y'all drop something in the comment section. If there's anything that you that caught your interest that you like, you know, you want uh, a little more information on, I know I would reach out. I know Andre will make sure we get the information to you because, like I said, I want to be an information plug for yeah. you guys. I want to <laughs> share, like I said, my goal is while I'm building wealth, yeah. I want to make sure I, 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 I document my path and share the information with everybody. I don't want to be like how a lot of people in our culture don't want to share the That's information. Right. I want to make sure that anything I learned through meeting a lot of great people that I share with you guys. That's yeah. my whole intention is <laughs> not just with real estate, with any other forms of building wealth, entrepreneurship, stock market, real estate, uh, multiple streams of income, it doesn't matter. I want to share it with you guys. And I just keep running to great real estate people. Yeah. So I'm going to keep sharing you uh, great real estate advice and, you know, great connections out here. So yeah. just keep doing it. I mean, I'm going to tell everybody, keep, keep it up. Like I said, I want to take another shout out to uh, Andre for yeah. coming on here. <laughs> I really appreciate it, man. I really do, man. And, and, and one last thing for the millions of people, Raymond. Right. So I just want to encourage you, the, the building wealth while black community. Right. The millions of people who's watching. I want to encourage you right now. I'm looking right into the camera and I'm looking at you. I want to challenge you to go out and cause change in your community. Right. The community needs you. You've been waiting on everybody else to do the change, but the community is calling on you. This is your season this is your time to go out and cause transformation, to go out and cause change, and to go out and cause the movement. Raymond is doing it right now with his community, and it's your turn to do it. So thank you for saying yes to building wealth while black. Thank you for saying yes to this is my season. Right. Thank you for saying yes to I love what I'm doing and I'm going to make it happen. And most of all, Thank you for saying yes to real estate. I want to see you and you and you, Raymond. At, at the, the top. top.